Hello YouTube and welcome to a what might be a one-off video and not part of a series but we'll see how this goes. Uh, this is Democracy 3 which is available on Steam. There is uh, downloadable content available for it as well. There's three like mini expansions um, but I don't have any of those so we will just be playing with the base game and we're gonna play through the tutorial. Um, there's also it's also Steam Workshop enabled if folks are interested in mods and it uh, looks like there's a decent number of mods available um, but we're not going to be playing with any of those either so we'll see how this goes so we've we're gonna we're gonna play through the tutorial here uh, welcome to Democracy Three you've just started your first term as president as your chief of staff I'm here to explain how things work. The icons below show you a few indicators of the state of your country. Hopefully you can change things for the better and get re-elected after your term is up. Press the button in the window below, begin, uh, mark to begin term of office, which is down here. From here you can survey the current state of our country. It might look complex, but all the different components work in very similar ways. The icons represent different objects in the economy or society, including policies, laws, voter groups, and values for important concepts such as health and education, levels of our citizens. Uh, click the next button. These strips in the center represent groups of voters. Uh, now we're playing as the United States just because I'm in the United States and are reasonably familiar with the political system uh, thereof, but you can also choose to play as the UK, Germany, France, and a few other countries as well. Um, so uh, the strips represent groups of voters with the colored progress v bars, including how happy they are with your government. The light gray area behind the text shows the percentage of our electorate that is in each uh, percentage of our electorate that is in each of these groups. So that represents like this colored part in here, I guess. So ethnic minorities are kind of small. Youth is kind of small. Retired is kind of small, but they're super happy. Uh, conservatives are fairly large, but they're not super happy. Uh, our liberals on here. Liberals are on here. Liberals are super pissed off, um, and they are a substantially smaller part of the population than the conservatives. Um, understand that individual voters can be members of different voter groups at once, and the extent to which they identify with those groups is in itself variable. You will never get all of these groups to entirely approve of you. White icons are policies. You start the game with some already implemented, but most can be canceled and many more can be added. They can also be adjusted. Policies are the primary method you use to govern your, po your country. The blue icons represent statistical data. So can we click on these? Doesn't look like now. Um, they concern abstract concepts such as GDP, gross domestic product, crime, or the education level of the citizenry. You can affect statistical data only indirectly through policy decisions. Like the other icons, you will find them in different zones of the screen depending on which part of the economy, uh, society they represent, transport, tax, uh, and so on. Okay. Icons with a red or green background are situations. They are ongoing events taking place in the country which might be going well, so they're green, or badly, they're going red. You can encourage good situations to prevent or fix bad ones by your policy choices. So... Trans these are the segments of our society, transportation, foreign policy, welfare, uh, economy, taxes, uh, public services, and law and order. And we've got some bad law and order situations happening. Uh, we've got some uh, homelessness. Ooh, look at this. This is interesting. Okay, so it looks like uh, the bad situation in homelessness, the way I interpret this, is it affects the poor and the middle income and liberals um, and uh, negatively and impacts crime, immigration, impacts crime positively and immigration affects homelessness positively private housing affects homelessness, homelessness negatively, poverty affects homelessness positively, unemployed benefits, that's, I'm, okay, so let's read the text. Policy state and situation are interconnected through effects. Hovering over your mouse over any one of the icons will show you how influence flows between them with green being a positive effect and red being negative. The speed of flow also shows the strength of the effect. Experiment with this, then hit next. Okay, so unemployment, increases homelessness, uh, poverty increases homelessness, unemployed benefits increase homelessness the way I interpret this. I'm not, not sure I understand why that would be the case. Uh, so this right here will be the uncompetitive economy. Makes capitalists unhappy, lowers GDP, um, corporation taxes, 
uh, affect the uncompetitive economy and productivity reduces the uncompetitive economy. Here we have pollution uh, which makes environmentalists unhappy and makes public health lower. Um, the state of the environment which is currently good so I, I take it that the green arrows flowing to pollution from the environment mean that the the good state of the environment is influencing pollution in a positive way so it's making it lower that's the way I interpret that here we have skills shortage um, immigration makes skilled shortage worse. Technology makes it better. Um, in education, which is blue, so it is a status. Education flows negatively to skills shortage. So red is a negative effect. I'm not sure how education, which is good, makes the skills shortage worse. All right, and we can hover on these too to see what uh, what is affecting them. Uh, let's look at a specific uh, group of voters and find out more about them. Let's click on middle income voters. Okay, so happiness influences. The income tax makes them unhappy. The inheritance tax makes them unhappy. The property tax makes them unhappy, and homelessness makes them unhappy. This area shows the different inputs, which we just talked about. We can click on an individual effect. Ooh, okay. Can I move this stuff around? No. Okay, Minister Howard Howard, the Chancellor. There's no Chancellor of the United States. And we can probably move this slider, I would imagine. We can cancel the policy, but I don't think it'll let us do that. So you can do this for almost any effect between two items. Income tax is a policy, white icons, and this screen shows you the effects that policy is having. The slider is used to control this specific policy. You can use it to adjust income tax up or down, which will change the effects it has on all the linked items, such as voter group situations and statistical data. Experiment with the slider and hit next so we can increase it. So right now. So these down here are the different categories of voters. You probably notice that the effects show two different values as you move the slider, the current darker effect and the slider with the slider at the new position. These values will move from where they are to the new position over time based on the inertia time at the far right of each effect. So inertia time for quality has, is higher, so it takes longer for this to take effect. This takes effect lo looks like more or less immediately. If the value is zero, the effect will be at the new level by the start of the next turn. So we've learned that this is a turn-based. Let's leave things that they are. Revert. Okay. Hit the close button. Check out one of the situations. Those are the red thing, red or green. So we've looked at these already. Let's look at. Uh, look on any situations. Probably death penalty. Vigilante mobs. They've lost all the faith in the ability of the police to beat uh, crime. They've started to take matters into their own hands. And we can see that the intensity has gone up. The inputs show the causes of the situation. The outputs show it has on other objects. So the cause is crime, the police force, uh, which negatively affects it. Racial tension, which increases it. And the death penalty, which decreases it. Uh, that's. I I'm seeing some fairly questionable political philosophy in here. The chart at the top of the screen shows information on the actual strength of the situation over time and two triggers. The higher trigger is the value that actually triggers this situation to take effect. The lower trigger deactivates the situation. As a result, it's easier, easier to trigger a situation than to end it. Let's quit the situation and go look at some other data now. 
The last type of icon is blue, the statistical data. So let's look at this guy. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be because I can't move any of this stuff. Okay. Political capital, that's this score up here. This represents the amount of support our government has to get things done. We have a limited amount of political capital per turn. Each turn is a quarter of a year. When you run out, you need to end the turn to get more. Some political capital can be carried over to the next turn, but not all. If this is used when you adjust policies, cancel them, or introduce new ones. Different policies require different amounts, depending on how controversial they are. It's time to create a new policy. Click on the New Policy button. Uh, okay, so we have... Uh, okay, we got a ton of stuff here available. These are new policies put forward by your ministers. The policies are divided into categories seen as tabs at the top. Details of a selected policy are at the right. Those in red cannot currently be implemented due to a lack of political capital. So let's look at this. Uh, so this requires 50 political capital. National service. This is the draft, basically. Import tariffs. Estimated popularity with voters. Uh, select a policy and then hit the implement button. Let's look at welfare. The economy. Ban Sunday shopping. Uh, let's implement the organic farming subsidy. This is the new policy you chose to implement. We can adjust the slider on new policies for free. Intensity of the policy, which represents how strongly you want the policy implemented. Uh, for now, let's go back to the main screen. Okay. Uh, once you have finished what you can do or what you want to do in a quarter, it's time to end the turn. So hit the end turn button at the top right, which is this guy marked next. Okay, so let's actually play for a little bit before we... I guess we have to hit that first. Okay, this is the quarterly report. We'll highlight some key indicators. So GDP, health is low, crime is high, unemployment is high, poverty is um, high-ish. And the state of education is pretty good. Debt protection law, economic forecast, and it's having a positive effect on GDP, budget report. International credit agencies rate our government a B. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest. Okay, so I guess we're done with that. Ah, nice quote by Machiavelli here. Alright, so let's take a look at the different things we can do. This is uh, anti-social behavior. The police force is making that worse. It is making tourism worse. It is making conservatives unhappy. It is increasing crime. And it is looks like alcohol consumption is increasing. And I'm not sure this is something we can really do anything about. Let's take a look at policies. Closed circuit TV cameras, legalized prostitution, internet censorship, very popular with the voters, but I'm not doing that, just on general principles. Race Discrimination Act, tasers, police drones. Let us, uh, we're not doing that. Let's implement this. Makes conservatives happy. Should lower some crime, which is good. And we need to do that. And antisocial behavior. And vigilante mobs. So I guess we are fine with this the way it is. We'll stick with that. And ooh, that cost us a lot of political capital, too. So let's see what else we can do. Welfare fraud. We'll implement that. Uh, affects the poor. Hmm. 
we'll be real aggressive on this. Okay. So this would be each turn takes three months. All right, so this is our security briefing. Ooh. Threat assessment, Communist Party. This is our opinion profile. We're gonna make conservatives happy and they're a pretty big voting block already. This is polling data. Check out the focus groups, hit the focus groups button. Click on an individual voter for more information. This is weird because it like disables Oh, these are all our policies. So we can actually stop some of these policies, too. Alright, let's take a look at this. This is pretty unpopular. Popular with parents uh, and increases bus usage. Can we cancel this policy? Now, we cannot cancel it due to insufficient political capital. How much do we have left? Six. All right, let's hit next turn. Uh, debt protection law. Debt collection... So this is the equivalent of events, it looks like. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is uh, proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. So we can either choose to limit agency activity or allow agencies to operate. We're going to choose to limit their activity. And I, I guess that's our event. Let's... Uh, Okay, so let's look at, uh, where's crime here? So, cr what is this? This is something, technological advantage. We're going to apply that. And we have very little political capital left. So what do the black arrows mean? So what's this? Antisocial behavior. This is alcoholism being fed to by police force and in turn feeding crime. Crime is not that bad though. We gotta I think we have to get control of this vigilante mob business. Um, causes is the, the main cause is crime it looks like. So we need to get crime down. Okay. Ah, okay, we can actually do stuff here now. So this is where we are in the political compass. Changes. Health has gone. Okay, great. Health has gone up, crime has gone down, violent crime has gone down, so that's all good. Not much more we can do here, though. Child labor law. Too many of our younger citizens are leaving school early in order to take up low-paying jobs. Some are even skipping school to work full-time when they should be learning. Um, we will criminalize child labor. Credit rating downgraded. Stress epidemic. Polls report don't look good. Uh, budget report. Alright, so let's take a look at 
this and look at changes. Crimes way down, violent crimes way down, technology's up, productivity's up, GDP is down, took a huge hit. What's that from? Let's look at that. GDP, where it was over here. There it is. It's interesting that these things move around. Ooh, okay, a whole lot of stuff affects GDP and is affected by GDP. We have 27 political capital. So we're going to look at the corporation tax here and what can we do? We can lower the corporation tax. Okay. Try and boost that GDP situation. What's this? Asthma epidemic. Cause the environment. Car usage makes it better. The environment. So, but it looks like the environment here, I assume this to be the environment, is, is in good shape, right? Let's look at policies again. Okay. So I take these, uh, the green, gray, and red to be that these are really unpopular p policies. We're going to increase science funding. Okay, GDP down. Oil demand is down, which sounds good to me. Private pensions are down. This is technological advantage. Yeah, okay. Um, this is pollution. It's being fed by the environment. So let's take another look at our current... What do we got here? New policies, public services, public libraries, free school meals, free eye tests, law and order, community policing. Not terribly popular with the voters. Telecommuting initiative. We'll implement that. All right. So let's keep going here. Quarterly report public smoking ban and economic forecast has a positive effect on GDP, which is good. So let's look at our changes. Crime down, education up, environment up, health is up, air travel is down, immigration is down, oil demand is down, which might, uh, to me, sounds like a positive thing. Oil price is down, which is good. Alcohol consumption is down. Um, GDP, 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 GDP. Uh, did it just equalize itself? This is interesting, actually. This uh, actually seems to chart your um, movement over time by turn. What is this? This is homelessness. All right, feeding into this is uh, unemployed benefits, private housing. So how do we affect these things, I guess, is the question. We have 33 political capital. Let's look at our economy. Military spending is a big part. These numbers are not realistic toward the U.S. Here's the ideas. These are achievements. I guess there's achievements. Um, this shows you who you have working in each government department. Hmm, okay. So these all appear to have bonuses, right? So I think that seems okay. This is the quarterly report. 
This is the political parties. The People's Front, that's me, and the Liberal Front is the opposition. Activist boost to voter turnout. This is a big dip here, and I'm not sure what that means. So this means like the percentage of this group that is activists, I, I take it. Oh, those are options. I don't need to worry about that right now. All right, I don't need to worry about that either. Let's look at this public smoking ban. Ban public smoking, sure. I'd probably, thinking about that, I'd probably do that differently. Hmm. Close circuit TV cameras decrease antisocial behavior. We have a lot of... Let's see, wiretapping. Clean fuel subsidy sounds like a good idea. We'll implement that. And we still have quite a bit of political capital left. Pardon me while I remove the cat from the gaming area. National monorail system, free bus passes, car uh, emission limits, bus lanes. State housing. Sure. All right, let's see what happened there. And I'm guessing our uh, vigilante mobs, the situation is now at an end. Awesome. Credit rating downgraded. Thanks very much. All right, let's look at our changes. Crime way down. Environment is up. This And this is since the start of the game. So oil supply is now down. GDP has taken another big hit. Tobacco usage way down. Traffic congestion is down. Tourism is up. Poverty is down. That sounds like a good idea. So we're slowly drifting, actually. I expected there, because of state housing, I expected that to be... Uh, so the wealthy are not terribly thrilled with us right now. And we're in turn... Does it give me the turn number here somewhere? Um, ah, we track the, be the deficits uh, and expenditures as well here. Woo. So we have a lot of debt. There's something we can do about it. Our debt's up. Let's start looking at tax policy. Luxury goods tax, married tax allowance. Let's implement that. Enterprise Investment Scheme is a system which gives tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their co money in small startup companies which are based in the country. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. One of your cabinet ministers is displeased with current government policy which is unpopular with their core supporters. As a result, there's danger of the minister wanting to spend more time with their family in the near future. Ministerial resignations hurt the popularity of your government, so it may be worth adjusting your policies to placate their supporters. Internet scandal. Down market newspapers have picked up on a number of scandalous websites, including those containing race hatred and instructions on bomb making and other crimes. Conservatives not happy. Okay. Uncompetitive economy is at an end, though. Okay, so we've, we've managed to clear up a couple of the red situations, so that's a plus. Um, let's take a look here. 
Changes. We continue to drift down a little bit. Changes. Unemployment suddenly went up for reasons that aren't entirely clear to me. Let's look at our existing stuff. Um... So I can't cancel this. Let's look at our 23. Let's look at policies. Microgeneration grants given to citizens to help subsidize the cost of energy. Microgeneration systems such as solar panels and wind turbines. This is a good way to take advantage of some other some people's desires to make a personal step towards cleaner and greener energy. Not terribly popular though. Where was that? Microgeneration grants. We're going to do that. This is internet crime. So let us look at our current policies. This will lower internet crime, but uh, will really not make very many people unhappy. So let's do that. Um, what else is feeding this? Technology is also feeding that. We're not willing to uh, cut down on that. What is increasing alcohol abuse? Alcohol consumption. No kidding. Poverty. Crime. Uh, it is feeding crime. Unemployment is increasing alcohol abuse. So one of the things we want to do, and it looks okay right now, is we want to um, let's put in a, like a public. Well, we don't have enough political capital now. We want to do like a public works building project type deal. Debt crisis. Great. Credit rating downgraded again. So that comes here. What's feeding that? Well, this is feeding that, is what, what's doing that. So let's see what we can do here. This is expenditures. This is income. Shut up. So we need to reduce our expenditures here, or increase our revenue, one or the other. So we're looking for... What's our political capital? 27. Mansion tax. We'll implement that. Ooh, out of political capital. So we need to... Uh, decrease our deficit by either cutting spending or increasing revenue. And I think we are going to bring this episode to a close. Um, there may be an episode two of this video series. I, I think I can uh, safely consider um, uh, Democracy 3 to be kind of a strategy game, so not uh, something that's going to be the subject of a big series, but uh, I can see continuing to play this for a little bit. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching. There are links to follow us on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter in the channel banner, and you'll find uh, some more information in the notes below, and also check out the blog at strategychronicle.wordpress.com. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and uh, check out the rest of the videos, and uh, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more on the way.